Good evening to you. What caused a woman to fall to her death while hiking at Raven Run in Lexington? Tonight in a WKYT exclusive, we've obtained a report on the city's investigation. 22-year-old Katie Stewart died last month after falling from an overlook. The city calls the fall an accident, but the report also raises concerns about the emergency response that day, including how firefighters and Raven Run workers communicate with each other. Sean Moody has the top story exclusive. Lexington Public Safety Commissioner Ronnie Baston said there was nothing first responders could have done differently that would have saved Mary Catherine Stewart's life when she fell here at Raven Run back on March 19th. But he said those first responders did run into some challenges that day, and now they're trying to learn from them. As emergency runs go, this one had a lot of moving parts. When you have a situation like that in a remote area, it, it's always going to pose some challenges. Just we got a copy of a report from Lexington's Division of Risk Management detailing those challenges. It also sheds a little more light on what investigators think happened. They believe Stewart was trying to get a closer look at some animals and crossed into an area off the trail near the main Kentucky River Overlook along the Red Trail. Parks and Recreation Director Monica Conrad said it's marked with a do not cross sign. And it is our assessment that um, the victim unfortunately was about another 100 to 150 feet beyond that trail area. A man nearby called 911. That started the ball rolling with first responders, but Raven Run officials were in the dark. The first uh, response was actually a police vehicle. Um, that was our first inclination that there was something wrong. First responders called for a medevac helicopter in case they needed to fly Stewart out. The predetermined landing zone for Raven Run is the paved parking lot, but Public Safety Commissioner Ronnie Baston said a first responder's vehicle was parked too close to it. Air methods advising they're unable to land. There's far too many bystanders near the parking lot. Uh, can we get somebody on the ground to move them? By the time first responders were able to rappel down to where Stewart had fallen, they discovered she was already dead. The fire department sent a boat to recover her body, but that boat capsized. Fortunately, everyone was safe and we were able to get everyone out okay and then recover the body. Throughout the operation, the report cites a lack of communication between parks personnel and emergency responders. The parks personnel were using their cell phones while first responders had radios. The risk management review made recommendations to address the challenges first responders ran into. First, they recommend that dispatch and first responders should notify park personnel as soon as they know there's an emergency. Second, first responders should revisit their landing zone protocols so they don't block a predetermined landing zone. And radios with emergency channels should be considered for parks personnel. In Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT. And the report also recommended parks and recreation study their current posters and brochures to find out if they need additional safety precautions. It also praised parks personnel for following procedure once they realized what was happening. The Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources is still looking into why the fire department boat capsized.